Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. In this video, we will study the Python implementation for queues. So, in the previous video, we studied different operations that are possible on queues, the NQ, DQ, is empty, peak, and is full operation. Today, we'll see how to implement these operations in Python. Okay, so starting with the uh, de uh, the you know defining a queue. In Python, just like stacks, you have to define a queue using a list. Okay, so a list allows you to enter elements from any location. So we can use this property of a list to enter or add element at the beginning and to remove element, uh, sorry, to add element at the rear, that means at the end and to remove element from the front of the queue. Okay. So, uh, in the first statement, we have defined a queue uh, named queue and I have assigned it as an empty list. Okay, so I run it. Then we are defining a function nq. nq will allow us to enter new elements at the end of the queue. So, what do we have to do? Uh, to this function we are defining, we pass the queue in which we want to enter the element and the new element that we want to enter. Okay, so then we are calling the append function of the list to append this element and append means at the end. So every new element will be added at the end or at the rear or the tail of the queue. Okay, now in the theory video, I told you that before uh, entering a new element, you have to check the is full condition. But I also told you that since in Python, the um, when you implement queues using list list allow you to enter new elements as long as memory is available so it will hardly be a case when you are not allowed to enqueue an element that is why we have skipped the condition checking for whether the queue is full or not okay now coming to the dq operation but before dq we will have to see whether the queue that we are performing the dq operation from is empty or not otherwise it will lead to an underflow exception okay so to check whether the queue is empty or not we are defining this uh, operation or we are defining this function is empty and we are passing the queue that we want to check now if the length of the queue since the queue is implemented as a list so we can check if the length of this queue is zero then we have to return boolean true otherwise we return boolean false okay so this is a basic operation that we are uh, performing and checking based on the length of the queue now to perform the dq operation we are defining a function named dq and we are uh, again passing the argument as a queue on which we want to perform the DQ operation. So the first step that we perform in this function is we check whether the queue is empty or not. And how do we do that? We you do that with the is empty function. So if this function returns true, then in that case the if condition will be false. And that means the queue is empty. So, we cannot perform the DQ operation. But if is empty of Q is false, that means the Q is not empty, then not of false will give you true and you will execute the return statement that is present inside the if condition. Okay. Now, this return statement is also very interesting and very important to note. So, when we were implementing stacks using again uh, in the in python using lists of python we did stack dot pop and we did not specify any uh, argument here because we wanted to remove the element from the end of the stack because we were inputting or adding new elements from the end only but in case of queues we want to remove the element from the front that means from index zero that is why we need to specify this particular argument zero to the pop uh, function that has been called on q because if we do not specify this argument by default pop will remove the element from the end which we do not want because queues remove the element from the beginning okay so if the queue is not empty you have to remove the element or pop out an element from the first 
location that means the 0th index otherwise if the queue is empty the uh, you'll print the statement queue is empty okay so let's in, uh, execute this now coming to the next function the next function although it is not necessary to define but you can define it in case you want to um, know just what is the length of the queue that you have now created or how many elements are remaining in the queue so it is a simple function named size in which we are passing the queue whose uh, size or length we want to know and it is returning the length of the queue so again length is a default function or rather built-in function for lists in python okay coming to the peak function so again an interesting function in which we we are just viewing or just getting an insight of what first element is present at the beginning of, of the queue so first we definitely have to check if the queue is empty or not otherwise we'll also get an error uh, so if we, we check is empty queue now if this condition returns true that means if the queue is empty we will print queue is empty and we will return none okay so return none means we are not returning any element rather the queue is empty so none has been returned okay otherwise if the queue is not empty we will just return the zeroth element in the queue that means the first element that is present in the queue and be very careful here we are not popping any element we are just returning the element okay so we are just kind of uh, returning the value that is present at the very beginning of the queue now the last function for the uh, queue implementation in python is display function so display function allows you to see all the contents of the queue and again in this function we first check whether the queue is empty or not so here instead of calling the is empty function i have uh, written directly the length uh, used the length built in function and uh, if the length of the queue is zero the output will be the queue is empty otherwise we will run a for loop and in each iteration of the loop one element from the queue will be printed okay so this for loop will basically uh, uh, iterate through each of the element that is present in the queue which are implemented as a list and then that particular element in that iteration will be printed the space will be printed so that uh, the next element also gets printed in the same line okay so this is the display function now let's perform uh, some nq and dq operations on a queue which i have created as my queue so here i have intentionally used the built-in list function of uh, python because this is another way of defining a queue you can also define it as uh, square brackets empty square brackets just i did uh, as in the previous in the first line of this program but you can also define it like this as I have shown you here which is the list built in function okay so I am uh, defining or rather declaring a queue which is an empty list and I am executing this statement now uh, I am performing multiple operations let's see what is the result after each operation first I am uh, displaying the contents of my queue then I am enqueuing that means adding a new element which is the character M. Then I enqueue a second character Y. Then a third character is enqueued and this character is E. Okay. So uh, after each enqueue operation I am calling the display function. So every time the elements that are present in the queue at that moment will be displayed. Now after inserting three elements I am performing the DQ operation so you have to be uh, careful that since the DQ operation is returning an element you need to save it somewhere okay otherwise you won't be able to print it or another way is you directly write this function call in the print statement if you want to print the DQ element okay then uh, i'm removing a second element from the queue so it will be interesting to note which element is actually removed so we are uh, the queue after three insertions would be m y e and actually the removal should happen from the beginning so m and y should be removed after two dq operations then i'm again inserting y 
let's see what will be the contents of the queue after all these operations so initially when nothing is enqueued or dequeued obviously i cannot dequeue from a empty queue so the queue is empty that is the result of the display function then i enqueue m and these are the contents of the queue the only character m then i enqueue y so the queue contains m and y and after the third insertion the queue contains m y and e then i remove an element so as i said the element will be removed from the front of the queue that means this m element will be removed and the remaining elements of the queue are y and e then after performing the second dequeue operation that means removing the second uh, the element y which is now the front of the queue the only element remaining in the queue is e okay now i enqueue the last element which is y so the uh, contents of my queue are e and y okay so that's all for today's video here were examples of performing different operations on queue and implementation of different uh, operations that can be performed on a queue in python i hope you have understood this video thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam